The House of Representatives introduced new bills supporting Ukraine, and here are the facts. Comparing to Senate's previous version, the new bill does not deviate significantly with approximately $61 billion for Ukraine, which allows Pentagon to furnish Kiev with weaponry from its arsenals and procure additional armaments from its partners in the industry. Notable difference lies in economic aid, which is structured as a loan, but with provisions for presidential forgiveness. Half the debt could be waived post-November elections and the remainder not before 2026 pivoting on electoral outcomes. Additionally, provision urges President to supply Kiev with long-range attackums proposed by Republican Congressman McCall, though not obligatory, leaving the final decision to the White House and the Pentagon. The bill also outlines strategy for Ukraine, emphasizing the U.S.'s aim to assist Ukraine in prevailing in the conflict. Furthermore, a separate bill leveraging seized Russian assets for Ukraine's benefit was published by the House of Representatives. Congress has until Saturday, April 20th, to review and amend the bill, potentially garnering broader support, but also complicating the voting process. The next video will be on the introduced amendments to the bill.